PES 2016. I just got a thumb up there from Adam, who's just coming back. Um, so yeah, all those will be available in PES 2016 if you have it already. Uh, that was available as a free update from March the 24th. But if you don't have PES, for some strange reason, you can buy the physical copy of the game. That's available on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, and that will be available on the 21st of April. How do you feel about Hello, the UEFA Euro 2016 DLC? Say that again, sorry. I said, how do you feel about the UEFA Euro 2016 DLC? I think uh, it's absolutely superb. Like uh, like we've been mentioning before, you've got Gareth Bale on the front. Why would you not want it just for his <laughs> lovely flowing locks? Um, you've got obviously all the game that you know and love from PES 2016, but obviously you have all the licenses, etc. for the Euro 2016. You've got the 15 licensed teams. I won't go into all of them because uh, we have mentioned them a them. thousand times. <laughs> uh, but it is, uh, you know, the, the, the bulk of the big, the big guns um, that are on there. And of course it is available um, if you are a PES uh, player already it is it has been available since the 24th of march um, and if you want to buy it on the playstation 3 or playstation 4 hard disk copy it is available on the 21st of april uh, i did just uh, have a while i was on my little break uh, i did actually speak to the technical uh, the tech the man the tech man uh, and he did say that the the, the colors that we're looking out for in the next one so um the game will be colors coordinated so we, we, we should be we should be ready to get the the first of the day right because um, we've we've got a few of them wrong so far well uh, we did think Lely won the last game but he did in fact lose and now he's got one point at the bottom of the table so not so not a good day for him so far well speaking about um, getting games and calls right the next game which is featuring Rodrigo who came third last year and unbeatable who's quite a regular Pez League player has already kicked off and from the looks of things Rodrigo is already 1-0 up in another Bayern versus Bayern Classic. Have we had many Bayern Munich games today? Not many people no. tend to play with Bayern Munich. Generally, they, they sort of pick, um, uh, well, no, I can't even go into it because it has just literally been all Bayern Munich uh, <laughs> other than one from Lely who is uh, Real Madrid. Uh, so yeah, like you said, it has kicked on away. It is one nil to the good for Rodrigo, um, who is playing in the white strip. Um, and uh, an unbeatable 7-8-6 is, well, at the moment, uh, being beaten. <laughs> so uh, that might be an ironic name, but uh, we will wait and see as it's turned towards the edge of the area. Oh. And Manuel Neuer has strayed from his goal. A big chance there. I'm not quite sure what the German international was doing, but he's managed to get away with it as uh, Rodrigo looked to really, really cost himself a 1-1 a one, one scoreline there as the ball gets played towards the goal and, uh, and finally cleared away by Manuel Neuer. Well, that shows just how realistic PES 2016 is because Manuel Neuer has done those crazy sort of run out of his box many, many times. The sweeper-keeper that we know and love from real football, that is correct, <laughs> and there he's going again. He controlled it there on the knee and fired it forwards. Uh, 25 minutes gone here at the Allianz Arena, and it is still uh, Rodrigo who has that 1-0 uh, score on at the moment as the ball gets played down the left hand side and it is out of play for a goal kick as I think Graham is off to have another look around the grounds. Uh, later scores we do have on the uh, screen here uh, S Betters is 1-0 to the good. Miller 82 who lost his last game on the main screen is 3-2 up so a really important uh, three points that may prove to be um, just seeing if there's any more massive score lines here uh, the Greek has won Oh, well, he's winning at the moment, 4-2, uh, and there is a nil-nil stalemate. That might be the first of the day, the nil-nil stalemate between Pick Ruiz 89, PL, and Rodrigo Delacio. As the ball gets played down the left-hand side, cross into the danger area and headed away only as far as Lam into uh, Ribery. Good challenge, though, from Thomas Muller and cleared upfield. Uh, one back by Vidal. Vidal forwards into the danger area, into Lewandowski. Another good bit of defending again there. And once again, the sweeper keeper, Manuel Neuer, hacks downfield. But there is a lot of pressure now coming from unbeatable 7 8 6. 35 minutes gone at the Allianz. Lewandowski, lovely 1 2 there. Back to Thomas Muller. Big chance here for 1 1. Stunning, stunning finish from Thomas Muller with the left foot into the near post. The goalkeeper had absolutely no chance and just when it looked like Rodrigo was sailing to a first half lead, he has been pegged back and it is 37 minutes gone and it's 1-1 here. Another lovely goal this time from Thomas Muller and it could be 2-1. Almost turned on his head in a sixpence as Lewandowski just couldn't find the killer touch to score the second goal of the afternoon. 
So that, that win that we were speaking of, the potential win for the Greek, uh, would put him on nine points in, the, in his group uh, with Oz, who is sailing at the moment with 13 points as uh, the ball is back with Manuel Neuer as we tick into the final three minutes here at the f in the first half at the Allianz Arena as Oz is over my left-hand side there who is sitting pretty at the top of his group in Group 4 and, uh, and we're back now though to the Allianz Arena as we are ticking into the final minute at the end of the first half. Lewandowski dispossessed and it's forward towards Robin. T no minutes added on at the end of the first half from the fourth official and it has finished at the end of the first half by Munich 1, by Munich 1 and it is a stalemate so far between Rodrigo and unbeatable 786. So we're now underway in the second half. It, this by, by the rest of the game so far, this has been KG and over my shoulder there, there was a great deal of noise and I think we may have seen a very important goal. I'm not quite sure, I can't quite see who it was, uh, but I'm sure that will be uh, one of the highlights of the day as far as he's concerned because he really, really loved that as the ball gets played through to Arjen Robin. He's chopped down on the edge of the area and surely the referee has a big decision to make, a massive decision to make. All eyes on the referee. It's a free kick on the edge of the area. He was many millimetres away from a penalty and that would have been surely 2-1 to Rodrigo but as it stands it's a free kick still in a very dangerous position and a chance here it's played it short to Thomas Muller tried the quick turn and now saved again from Manuel Neuer and finally cleared away by Vidal it really really should have been 2-1 there but Rodrigo was unable to take full advantage and it's cleared downfield now it's Arjan Robin Robin plays it through cleared away out towards the near touch line and uh, it's been uh, although we've had no goals in the second half it has been an epic encounter between these two that you can see on the screen at the moment potentially again shouts over my shoulder goals going in all round the grounds here as uh, as we are back here at the Allianz 55 minutes gone we'll just take a quick look at some of the scores uh, Draco Pielli 6-1 to the good there's been a lot of six goals scored uh, in the games today 1-0 for Espeta uh, Miller 82 still 3-2 to the good there's two stalemates the game that we're watching now uh, and well three stalemates four stalemates this is a nil nil and there's three one ones including the game that we're watching now uh, the Wesertron who is a uh, favorite coming into this competition but a, a, a last minute backed horse if you would say um, because he's not had a, a long history in the game um, but he has had a really really solid season and he uh, he played against Dex uh, a few weeks back in another competition and I believe they finished full time 3-3 after going 3-1 up Dex, uh, Wesertron brought it back to 3-3 and it went to extra time Dex did end up winning 6-3 uh, but uh, it was very very close in the 90 minutes so Wesertron's definitely one to watch out for as the ball gets played into the area and Venazio clears only as far as Thomas Fuller and Frank Ribery just flicks the ball into the far corner and Rodrigo once again takes the lead, it's another stunning bit of play there from Thomas Muller he just cannot, you can't keep the German down at the moment. He's just providing everything, whether it's a goals and assists this season. He is absolutely crucial to everything good going forwards for Bayern Munich. Could this be an instant response though from Lewandowski? No, it can't. It's over hit and it's out of play for a goal kick. 67 minutes gone. Remember, guys, who are watching uh, on Twitch, this is the UK PES live finals uh, that we are streaming here from the Gadget Show, and the winner will be going to Milan, uh, the San Zero, for the World PES 2016 finals in the San Zero for the Champions League final. Uh, they'll be getting to play pitch side at the San Zero, uh, and of course, they will be trying to win the uh, prize money of 15,000 euros. Uh, which is an incredible amount of money uh, for playing a computer game. Uh, it is a great computer game, though, and uh, they are very, very talented at it. So 20 minutes remaining. Lewandowski skips away from the challenge, plays it over the top, looking for Arjan Robin, has the flag stayed down. This could be a killer goal. No, it's a late flag. 
And it's a heart in your mouth moment there. Rodrigo thought that was the moment that this game was going to be well and truly finished. And, uh, and as a result, they're going to make a few tactical changes as we tick into the final 15 minutes here at the Allianz Arena. And it is still Rodrigo who leads by two goals to one. Remember, guys, the new game that ha has come out uh, that you can download if you are a Pez uh, owner already. You can buy the, uh, you can get the Euro 2016 copy. Uh, uh, from March the 24th, you could have got that on all consoles, and you can buy the hard disk copy on uh, uh, on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 from the 21st of April. Um, it's got Gareth Bale on the front cover. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it already um, with the little celebration, um, and uh, it's got uh, all the licensed, well, the main licensed teams. You've got 15, in fact: England, Wales, Germany, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Croatia, Slovakia, Iceland, Turkey, Albania. Uh, Northern Ireland and France, they are the licensed teams as more shouts from behind me as it looks like there's a 4-4 draw at the moment between PSG and Bayern Munich, seven minutes remaining there, it is still 2-1 to the good for Rodrigo at the moment as he looks to make it through to the qualifying stages of the PES UK live finals here at the Gadget Show. Uh, just going back to the Euro 2016 game, you can buy it, uh, of course, on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. 15.99 on the PS3 and 22.99 on the PS4 version. Um, it has the Stade de France. It will appear on the game and the official Euro 2016 ball, uh, Adidas Euro Glider 2016. If you are interested at all in this wonderful gaming headset that I am wearing at the moment, it's Lucio Sound. Uh, Lucid Sound, sorry, not Lucio. That's one of the players. Uh, Lucid Sound, and it is. Uh, I can tell from my own experience uh, it's really really great to use um, as we tick into the final nine minutes here at the Allianz Arena as Graham joins me for the glory minute you only seem to turn up for the glory minutes <laughs> he comes back always for the final five and usually brings with him goals well I mean I, uh, I can't, uh, the scores that I had are all now useless because by the time I got from one end of the room to the other then there'd been another three or four goals scored there was a loud scream while I was, whilst I was away. Um, obviously, you heard that cause you turned around to, <laughs> to see, but that was unbeatable again. Um, but that was 3 2 at that point in time. He screamed because he missed. I don't know what his score is in his game at the moment, but I can say that we will have him on the live stream next. So we will get to see his screaming up close in person on the next live stream. I, I can't wait. I have bated breath. It's going to be truly epic as all of the games have been so far. This is the lowest scoring game that we've had actually on the main screen. Just the three goals, but the, uh, the actual entertainment on show has been nothing short of breathtaking as we tick into the final minute here at the Allianz Arena. And it is still Rodrigo who leads by two goals to one. Can there be a third goal to wrap things up here? Uh, for Rodrigo, he's got a free kick in a very dangerous position as it's played short to Robin. He crosses in, looking for Lewandowski, headed clear only as far as Vidal. So does does the game reflect the uh, scoreline at the moment? Obviously, I've not seen I much of the match. Based, I think he's just shaded it personally, Rodrigo. He's just looked that little bit more clinical in front of goal, and he has created uh, just a few more chances. Um, if I'm being honest, the draw also would be a fair result, but definitely if I had to pick one or the other, it would be uh, Rodrigo. But it's a big chance here for the equaliser. A fantastic last-ditch challenge from Batang as the goal looked to be gaping for the equaliser, um, and that would have surely been a 2-2 finish. But as it stands, it didn't go in, and it has finished here at the Allianz.